Four children are left to pick up the pieces tonight after a horrific collision that killed mother and local activist Cindy Whitmore. The woman was riding her bike at the time of the accident and Team 12's Charlie Edsidy has more details on a fundraiser for the family. Charlie? Well, Caribe Phoenix police tells me that Whitmore was headed westbound here on baseline close to 35th Street. That's when they say she swerved out of the bike lane and into the road. Beloved friend, mother, activist and cyclist. That's how friends and family of Cindy Whitmore are remembering her a week after she lost her life. Police say she was on her bike around 645 in the morning when detectives say for unknown reasons, Whitmore swerved into the road and was hit by a large produce truck. She did not survive. Detectives say the driver of the truck showed no signs of impairment and speed was not a factor in the collision. A fundraising account has been been set up for the woman who dedicated her time to many local organizations advocating for the rights of undocumented immigrants. Back in 2014, Whitmore spoke to 12 News regarding the questionable treatment of migrant children at a Nogales detention center. Facilities in which the family units were being held were very inadequate and to the point of being inhumane. Whitmore was also an employee with America West and then U.S. Airways for 17 years. She leaves behind four children. Her oldest his son is taking on the responsibility of raising his younger siblings and all the money will go to support them. And funeral arrangements are being made and if you would like to donate to this family you can head on over to 12news.com that's where we posted that link. We're live from Phoenix, Charlie Edsidy, 12 News.